new bot, three new weapons, and big changes are coming to War Robots. So here is a picture of the new bot called Jaeger is being on the test server right now this weekend. But first, I want to talk with you about the big changes that are coming. So here's the full message from War Robots itself about the new rebalancing of the entire game. Please pause the video if you want to reach the whole uh, if you want to read the whole thing, but I'll give you guys the recap on this. So basically, current uh, the current meta is being dominated by close range weapons and also ra close range bots. Think of the Ravana with storms. War Robots wants to give a, a chance uh, for other playstyles to emerge, such as sniper and so on. So that, in my opinion, is also the reason why they are introducing these new bots so quickly. Um, after the hawk you can see here how it looks like in the hangar the the Jaeger uh, bot it is and here you can see it in uh, in game the thing is the the test server itself is down um, I tried to play it but I had no luck so I got some screenshot off of other uh, people who played the test server who had the chance to play it to show you guys how it looks like so what it is is that the Jaeger has an ability that will um, have a weapon on the top of his head you'll see here the weapon popping up on the top of his head and when you activate it there will be an Aegis shield coming out of it as well here is another uh, picture from a different angle you can see the top opening up and then the weapon popping out the thing is is that when this ability is activated you will be stationary a Aegis shield will be active and the built-in long-range gun I think it's a thousand meters that you can shoot uh, from and it has 12,000 damage at a MK1 level 8 uh, at the same level you will have 126,700 HP and 49 kilometers per hour as speed now War Robots is saying that this bot it's obviously a sniper bot uh, but they say it is uh, supposed to move in position fairly easy uh, but also it's very good at escaping enemy fire based on the footage I've seen I uh, disagree I feel you know every spider four leg bot is very you know clumsy and difficult to walk so it's very difficult to move away fast from enemy fire but let's wait and see and how that will be on the test server and on the live server let's go into the three new weapons um, the first one is Gauss, is the heavy uh, kinetic railgun, and then there's Weber and Volt, medium and small. I don't have a picture of the Weber and Volt, but this is how the Gauss looks like. As you can see here, it is a heavy long-range railgun with a charge system. The longer it charges, the more powerful the shot. Basically, I feel like they are releasing this probably with the Jaeger to inspire people more to use a sniper type of playstyle. Um, I'm not a big fan of sniper playstyle. That's not my uh, my thing. But I can uh, I can assume that others uh, who loves this type of of of, of playing uh, would really enjoy these type of weapons and also the Jaeger. So let's see how that will uh, will be after the test server and when it comes to live server. Let's go into the big challenges, the rebalancing that. Um, that they have announced so you can see here the mender is getting a huge buff We're going through the buffs first and I'll talk about the nerfs in a bit But you can see here the mender is getting huge buff abilities speed and resistance is all going up um, I think the mender will be a very powerful uh, strong fun butt to play with because of this uh, this buff next we have Wayland not my favorite but it has a nice 15% repair power I don't think that's going to make a big of a difference. Uh, tier, this is uh, a good buff for uh, for the tier. Repair power gets 20%. The Hades gets 15% buff for the built-in weapon damage and 15% durability. Um, I think that's a it's an okay buff for the Hades, but I'm not convinced that Hades will be in, uh, immensely strong because of this. Ember Ignited Blaze getting 5% extra damage. Redeemer getting 5% extra damage and its mechanics change to the Tyrants. I think that is good, but although the buff for the Redeemer is unnecessary in my opinion. Tyrants is getting 5% extra damage. 
Corker Atomized and Nucleon is being um, has increased accuracy. I think that's great. Um, they are strong weapons already, uh, but it's nice to have the accuracy even better. Arbalest, Ballista, and Trebuchet plus 10%. That's okay, not my favorite type of weapons, but it's fun. Fenrir getting extra speed, that is good. I like the Fenrir, even though right now it's definitely not in the meta or a OP bot. Buwar getting more shield durability, 5%. I don't think that's that great. Wasp is getting a buff as well in uh, shot intervals and the amount of ammo. I think that's a fairly reasonable buff. Sting is getting a buff of 10% on damage and corrosion damage as well. I think that all these corrosion type of weapons needs to have more damage done on corrosion and make them an actual corrosion type of weapon. Avalanche, I love this one because I is one of my favorite heavy weapons, but unfortunately during the current meta it's too weak, but 15% extra damage and from 12 to 16 ammo, that's great. Ion, 10% extra extra damage, that's okay. Ravana, this is all the nerves, guys. This is a minus durability of 10%, 1%, sorry, 1 second durability duration uh, less, and you cannot control the beacons during its ability. I think this is a good, good balance for Ravana because it's just too strong at this point. Aljun, getting, uh, getting a nerf again. I think Aljun will be out of the meta because of this. Um, Leech is getting a nerf. This is a, a, a big hit. Avenger getting another nerf as well because already got a nerf previously uh, recently. I think this was unnecessary. Viper in my opinion also unnecessary uh, uh, nerf. Uh, Storm same thing. It's getting another nerf. I don't think this was necessary. I think nerfing the Ravana was uh, good enough. Uh, because Ravana and Storm was uh, being um, yeah, too strong. We have the Spark Scourge Calamity being getting nerfed. That's too bad. And the Phase Shift no longer will be able to hold the beacon if you use the Phase Shift. So to wrap up the video, in my opinion, I think the big balancing and the rebalance that's coming is a good thing. Um, I'm not a big fan of the new bot or the new weapon, the new sniper weapons, but let's see how, uh, how they are in, in, on the live server. I think the Hawk is going to be a very overpowered bot. Um, I've seen some videos and it's really too powerful. I'm expecting War Robots would do some tweaks and changes to it and nerve it. That's it for this video. This is a short update video for you guys on the new upcoming updates. If you like it, please consider to subscribe. That would mean a lot to me. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.